<laughs> Welcome to week two of Boxed Wine and Dine. We've still got our boxes of wine with us. Um, we've all got the same wine from last week. So I've got my Chilean red blend. Um, and we're going to go through our paired meals. And this week's theme is takeaway. Um, so, Vidya, I'm going to start with you. Your wine and your takeaway. Yeah, my wine is a Provence Rosé. Uh, it's a 2018 uh, rosé that comes in a box. And, you know, nowadays people drink rosé all through the year, right? And I mean, it's just an easy drinking wine. So I, and, you know, this wine is vegan friendly as well. So I've actually paired it with some vegan food, like a squash curry with some plus seeds and some taboulet with some coriander and mint added as well. So um, it's takeaway as well. I've just, re I'm recently checking out a takeaway service. So... Um, you know, I'm excited to try the squash curry with the seeds and the tapule with the, uh, with the wine. Oh, nice. Sounds delicious. Um, Anishka, what are you drinking and eating today? What have you got for your takeaway? Um, so same, I got obviously the same wine, same box wine as before. So um, the Southern French Grenache Blanc and Grenache Gris blend um, and 2019. So very fresh and easy drinking. Um, and because of the wine, I think we talked about it a little bit last week, but because of the wine has a little bit more texture and a little bit more it's not, you're not really full body, but it's got a little bit more weight than what you would kind of expect. Um, and the fruit was very kind of tropical kind of style fruit and quite ripe. Um, I decided to go for a Trinidadian takeaway, a local one to me, um, just a yeah, small independent family run Trinidadian place. Um, and I've got a two rotis. So one is vegetables um, and one of them is chicken curry. So both kind of curried, but with kind of very aromatic spices, um, a touch of chili that's like a little bit of um, scotch bonnet. So it's quite fruity, the chili flavor, but it's not, it's not spicy. Um, and then I've also got some little salt fish kind of fritters um, mm. and a really lovely relish that they've made as well um, with tamarind in it. So, and actually it's not, like I said, it's aromatic. It? What's that? Have you, have you got it there? Can we have a look? Yeah, oh yeah. I'll show you. I tried to present it nice. I'm not very good at presentation, but there you go. Ooh. That's a two. Ooh, it looks one of the, one of the so things. well laid out. Yeah, and, you know, you just, and thank you for showing us the wrap of the roti. I mean, I'm calling it a wrap, but it's a roti. Yeah. But the filling inside, is, it looks really amazing as well. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. So, um, yeah, so I thought that would work really nicely. And it's like, it's, it's an unusual pairing, you know, Southern French kind of Grenache Blanc, Grenache Gris mm -hmm. to go with, um, yeah, to go with kind of chicken curry. Um, so, uh, yeah. Nice. That's fine. Well, mm. I've got my um, Chilean red. And yeah. actually, I think because I've had it, because I've, I've had a long day at work, um, I've had this glass poured for a while. Um, and I think it's given it a bit more time to breathe. And I'm getting a bit more like peppery notes out of this, which yeah. actually fits really well in with my Greek takeaway I've got. So mm. I really love Greek food. And it's it's a cuisine I've never learned to cook myself. Yeah. So it's basically yeah. a plate of meat, salad and bread. And it's delicious. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, I've got a big mixed platter. So I've got chicken, pork, lamb, um, pork sausages, like a kofta as well. Um, and like an olive salad too. And I think just because this wine has so much going on, it complements everything, every element of that quite well. So last time I had it with chicken and there's a chicken um, skewer here and it, it, it's, it's going well with the chicken. It's going well with all the spice, like spices and fresh herbs that they typically use in Greek food. Um, I, wouldn't, I would try and identify them, but I'll probably get it wrong. Um, but I think also because of its acidity, it cuts through the fattiness of the meat too. So it's quite refreshing on your palate between each bite, um, which I really like. Um, and I'm really excited to tap it in. So cool. Um, well, it sounds like we've got great dinners ahead. Definitely. And to me, the box wine has been really good this week because I've had a really long week at work. Um, and just to go grab a glass after work without getting a bottle has been awesome. Um, and even today, getting a takeaway, grabbing a glass of wine. Yeah, 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 just having that, just having it available. I mean, because there was a week when I was on my own um, and it was just nice because before I was on my own the week before and I had a bottle of wine and I was really struggling to like get it, get through it before, you know, before it lost its kind of freshness. And this has yeah. just been amazing. Just been able yeah. to just and what are we thinking about the freshness? Because we're in week two now. What are we thinking about the freshness? I haven't actually noticed a difference, to be honest. I'm no, really neither have I. Just as fresh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I actually haven't noticed any difference. It's uh, as refreshing as it was. And mine's a rosé, right? And you don't want it to be, like, stale. I mean, you don't want anyone to be stale. But, like, with rosé, one really expects that freshness. 
Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, I took it out like 15 minutes before we started, but it's a little too chilled for this weather, you know? Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, if it was summer, this would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you know, absolutely. A week, there's no difference. Yeah, I, there's no difference to when I opened it last week to this week. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm learning to let it breathe a little bit. I didn't think box wine needed to breathe as much as it did as a bottle. Um, but it's really like it opens up a lot more. You just let it breathe for like 10, 15 minutes prior to drinking it. So, yeah. Anyway, cheers, girls. Enjoy yeah. your takeaways and enjoy your wine. And we'll see, see you next you week. Time. See you next Bye. week. Bye. Bye.